With Norway once again at the top of the Winter Olympic medal count, many are wondering what is the secret to the country's success? Out of all the Winter Olympic Games ever held, Norway has placed among the top three in more than half of them, making it the most decorated Winter Games nation of all time. Joining me now is Assistant Professor of Sports Science at the Norwegian University and Science and Technology, Stig Arva Satter. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Uh, Norwegians seem to place uh, a real strong emphasis on outdoor living. Talk to me about the role of, the, of outdoor culture in raising successful athletes. Well, I guess we have a tradition, a history for leisure activities, both organized and non-organized uh, activities. And uh, actually, 80% of Norwegian children are a part of the organized uh, sport in Norway. So that's a quite large number. There's a lot to unpack there. Let, let's, let's look at regionally first, the, the Trondelag region of Norway. It seems to produce a disproportionately yep. large share of Olympic medal winners. Uh, the region generally produces about one-fifth of Norway's overall medals at any given Winter Games. What is it about that area and why does it produce so many successful athletes? Well, uh, there are a local uh, uh, town called Meråker, which is a, a rural area of uh, Trondheim, uh, where uh, actually many of the medalists uh, come from. I guess it's uh, quite a, a small part uh, of Norway where they have a good history and tradition for developing youth athletes. And uh, I guess uh, many of the, the athletes see the traditions uh, on that parts of Norway and, and uh, use that as motivation to become good athletes themselves. Let's talk about that development for a little bit because I was reading that many schools in Norway, they infuse sport into learning, but what's really interesting is they don't seem to place an emphasis on winning. So what is it about this sort of mode of, 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 of developing athletes that turns people into people who are able to win later on in life? Well, actually, we have some children's rights, actually, within sports, saying that uh, we don't uh, keep scores until the, the athletes are 13. And then you could think, uh, why not? Well, the point is that winning competitions isn't important in terms of development, because then you just have to compete against the bad uh, athletes. Uh, because you have to have a self-centered uh, development, so you should be uh, focusing on your own skills and try to develop them as best as possible. You know, there's such a breadth of, of um, and variety of sports at the Winter Olympics, and it seems that Norwegians tend to gravitate towards sports that other countries might not necessarily pay a lot of attention to. Absolutely. They're, they're, we have a focus on the winter sports, uh, quite small uh, sports, which, uh, of course, is smart, uh, because then we invest in sports we actually could be good at. So um, I think that's uh, uh, a good uh, uh, way to do it. Uh, lastly, Professor, uh, you know, there are a lot of countries out there that spend a lot of money trying to de develop uh, cultures around sport in order to win at the Olympics. Norway seems to have that secret to success. If you had to boil it down into, in, into something that you could export to other countries, what would that secret to Olympic success be in Norway? I think it's uh, our combination of both uh, mass sport and elite sport It uh, is important. The, as we said, the, the investment in smaller sports could be uh, smart. We have a focus on the athletes uh, and the development of them, of building good environments for, uh, for young athletes. Uh, as I said, the, the late focus of winning. And uh, perhaps the last bit is that uh, actually there, there was uh, developed an organization of elite sport called Olympiatoppen, uh, which is the knowledge base of the region uh, comparing uh, results between different sports so that we have a knowledge base of that. And actually they were established because of the bad Olympics in Calgary in uh, 1988. So I guess you have you to thank for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're welcome, sir. And thank you to Norway for such great performances this year. We appreciate it. Professor, thanks for being here. Thanks.